Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Tuesday, October the 2nd, 2018. Well, let's take a look and see what happened with the markets today. And it looks like we had a split decision. And what do we mean by that? Well, the Dow set its 102nd new record since Election Day, closing at all-time highs. So, uh... There you have it. After the gap up, we had nice follow through. So obviously, uh, the uh, Dow stocks like this uh, new agreement we have, the USMCA. So uh, congratulations to the Dow. Now the spiders, uh, you know, we, we pulled back a little bit from yesterday. Basically, a big Doji candle here. You can see, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can see the volatility of the intraday you know, uh, low volume, uh, so not much happening with the spies. Uh, the Qs, we had another uh, pullback there a little bit, uh, nothing major, uh, fairly low volume as well. Now, IWM, uh, looks like we have uh, people rotating out of there. Another major, uh, you know, uh, pullback on high volume. I'll back this out just a little bit so that you can see uh, you know, we uh, are just about at this uh, low here. So, uh, you know, uh, there's a chance we'll end up with a double bottom. Of course, we won't know that that's confirmed until we get above the 173, uh, you know, uh, mark here. But, uh, you know, if we get some follow through, we, we could be uh, in some trouble there. So that'll be an interesting chart to keep an eye on. And, uh, you know, so, uh, like I said, split decision. Now we'll get a quick look at Holly and see uh, how she did today. And uh, if we take a look here, we had uh, Holly Grill just seven trades. Uh, so she was a little bit quiet, but made 21 cents. But the risk on profit, $2.57. So uh, did very good there. Holly 2.0 had 14 trades, 53 cents profit. A dollar forty-two risk on profit, and Holly Neo had seventeen trades. She was a little more active. A dollar twenty-eight profit. A dollar thirty-five risk on. The way it boiled down to, we had thirty-eight trades. Two dollars and two cents profit. Five dollars and thirty-four cents risk on profit. So for the week, for the Monday and Tuesday, a hundred and two trades. Loss of four cents, but risk on profit four dollars and eighty cents. So uh, Holly made a nice recovery today. Now let's take a look to see, uh, you know, a couple of the nice trades that might have been in here. And uh, and Holly Neo, we had PM sixty one cent profit, and you can see she got out for a timed exit, and you can see, uh, you know, she got in and she got out, uh, you know, sixty one cents. And had she held on, uh, you know, you would have made 96 cents. Uh, and it uh, looks like that's the best in both categories. And that was yesterday hammer, today strength. So if you look here, if you see that hammer candle there, and uh, that was what that is. It's a uh, newer strategy uh, that, that uh, they have developed. Now we'll go ahead and look at Holly 2.0. And uh, we have CLRB. It was a short. And, uh, you know, you can see here how, how nice of a short trade that was. And uh, for uh, the uh, risk on was AIMC for a 50 cent gain. She got out for a profit save. And as we say, what happens a lot of times, she seems to get into some of these uh, a little bit early. But, you know, if we used, you know, the man with the machine that we always talk about, uh, you know, uh, you know, you, you see she gets in and, uh, you know, you know, get, get, gets out and then you see it start moving. You can always jump in and take advantage of that. So uh, that was, uh, you know, the Holly. Uh, well, let me see here. And uh, yes, we, we did cover that already. And the Holly Grill. Let's see if there's anything here. Okay, I see a nice one here. FNKO, uh, a short Funko. Uh, so uh, once again, she uh, just made 13 cents on the trade, got out for a profit save, but had uh, you know she held through or had you uh, gotten back in, could have made $1.63 from her original entry point. And uh, that was actually the best trade on, on uh, both categories. 
Now, uh, let me bring this in again. Uh, you know, even though we set an all-time high, uh, you know, for the Dow, the 102nd record of the year, uh, the other indices, uh, you know, two of them were kind of, uh, you know, just middle of the road there, but uh, the IWM is uh, doing some major pulling back, and I know there are some, uh, you know, higher value stocks that are pulling back as well. So this, uh, you know, is a uh, good, uh, you know, uh, link for us to use. Uh, so uh, I would encourage you, I would encourage you to go ahead, uh, you know, go to this link, go ahead and download this. It's a free ebook. It helps you work on the short side of things when, uh, you know, when the uh, bullish market is coming to an end or with some stocks. So I'm not saying that uh, everything's bearish. Uh, and certainly it's not as, as we look at the Dow, but, uh, you know, it, it helps to know how to trade both sides of the market. So uh, give that a shot. And as always, uh, yeah, you can follow me on my blog at bullsightrader.com. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter or StockTwits. If you got anything out of this video, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Maybe drop a comment in. And if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe to this channel. That way you'll never miss uh, a video. And hey, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.